Or she just came back. Now we're to the map ready for the ultimate challenge. It is not the time for this. Aww. Odin before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. like the heat, Brock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prod from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pools are six. As long as you don't end up cooked. In the road or two in the fast. Our mystic's gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Can you read it? Yes, sir. 
What does it say? It's about the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. I think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we've both grown in our years apart. So how come you're back here? Just catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pile. So, clear this up for me. Spartalfine means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Spartalfine? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalia. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just Elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad.
Let me guess, there's a Valkyrie in here. Yep. Well, are we gonna fight her? There's a trapped spirit in there. Quiet, Head. Good luck, friends! <laughs> Queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, my lady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell. I believe you have your answer, Head. The Queen opposes Odin. She imprisoned the Valkyries to defy him. Satan hated Odin, no doubt about that. Her duty, her responsibility. Would she really forsake these things to get back at Odin? No, I don't believe it. I do. Hate is stronger than duty. We have to find the queen. We have to stop her. I'm sorry, Mimir. Aye. Don't be sorry, lad. Sigrun brought this on herself. Only wish... Wishing only gets you so far. How will we find her? I'm afraid I don't know. She could be anywhere. Any realm. We'll find her. We have to. All of Midgard is counting on us. <laughs> 